good morning everyone welcome back to the channel it's been it's been very long actually um, funny story I lost my camera again uh, hence there's been no videos I did try filming on my phone but it just wouldn't go onto the computer so I thought it's uh, not worth it I'll just find my camera and then uh, start filming again then just come behind the track it's quite windy there so sorry for the uh, absence I don't know if you've seen but I've got my uh, Allen key and I've bought a set of TM mirrors, well they are actually designed for these tractors but the higher spec um, versions of these ones so I've bought a set of them, one because it's missing a mirror and two obviously better visibility and stuff like that, those mirrors when you're trying to look behind the trailer all you can see is either the back of your cab or the side of the trailer you can't really see to the side of it or behind it um, and there's not too much adjustment in them so I bought these quite cheap so I thought it'd be worth it as you can see finished off the wheels as I said I did film it on my phone but not really worth loading to be honest I'm really impressed with the job um, obviously there's a few marks here and there but uh, that's what you've got to expect especially with the condition they were in um, I think they've come off really well done the hubs black as well um, it, I'm trying to remember what the paint was called it was called a bit of rubbish it was called um, oh I can't remember now. I've got some in the uh, shed barn thing over there, so I'll show you that afterwards. I've also bought red CBs for it because they'll fit on these, whereas they won't fit on their arms because they're really thick. So, um, see what we can do. Um, so, ah, Rustoleum titanium silver or something metallic. Uh, that's what colour they've gone on as. Fairly similar to the case paint, but I think the official case colour was about twenty pound for a. What was it 400 mil spray can so that stuff was about seven so um as you can see i saved a bit of money there and i think they look quite well to be honest um and i put i think yeah i've said uh, in previous videos that i've put a new beacon on um just up there just need to get the second one on now um it should be looking well and it's going in for a new grill so we've, we're doing second cutting about a week maybe a week or two i think um and then he's claimed on insurance for the new grill because obviously when rolling the pit last year it hit a soft spot and uh, over the bar that's what happens so he's claimed on insurance and um, it's going in right after second cut to get the new grill on uh, with maybe a new headlight as well I'm not sure if not I can just buy a new headlight I don't mind doing that um, so it should be looking brand new again really and uh, obviously just need to do the inside of the rims um, but I haven't got around to that yet. Um, I'm not taking the rooms off the tractor, so I'll have to full lock it left and right and try and get inside and see what happens. There we go, switched to head cam. Um, got me Allen key to size eight, so I presume that's eight mil. Um, that, from what I remember, that fits these bolts perfectly. They're a bit, uh, a bit stiff from obviously being on, I think it's left. Obviously, there's the same lefty, lefty loosey, righty tighty, but I, I feel like it was either right or left. Well, obviously, it was one of the two, but I feel like mm, there we go, it's right, so it doesn't fit with the saying. So, simply to get these off, you just take these bolts out, and uh, there's a metal plate there with two bolt holes. Use the same bolt, and then these fit right on. It's the exact same fitting as the TM because obviously it's uh, pretty much the same tractor uh, as the TM. There we go, that should just come off now. So we'll keep that bolt handy. There we go, just put it on the chair. Could do with a new chair, really. They're not cheap though, nothing is nowadays, really. Oh, this is tight. There we go, you can see it. It's time to come loose. I had a bit of a problem when I was feeding up yesterday. Um, so I, had the, I was dropping, well, let's start with last year when we were bringing whole crop in. There was someone rolling the pit with this um, and they had the back window open. And the, there was a PTO shaft just sat on there. Um, one like this, basically. Just sat on there, I think it was. And uh, he was on the face of the pit. 
obviously just put it in forward to sit off and it flew out the back window and he couldn't see it. Um, so that went missing and then yesterday uh, I was grabbing away in the whole crop pit there and then putting it in the feeder wagon, no problems whatsoever. Um, I come to turn the feeder wagon on to feed the dry cows and there was a bit of a knocking noise, a bit like this. A bit like that. So I, I just turned the feeder off obviously, as you would, and uh, checked in the back. Climbed up the stairs on the front of the feeder and looked inside to see what was going on. Couldn't see anything, so uh, went and asked for a bit of help and they said uh, if you open the door and just kind of idle it, it'll, uh, it'll hopefully come out. So I turned the, turned the feeder on again. Uh, just kind of idled the PTO, few revs on so it didn't stall. But um, anyhow, uh, it was a bit of bit of a bang. Um, so I opened the back door on the feeder, knocked it all off. Obviously, knocked the tractor off and things like that. Um, opened the back door, had a little ratchet through, and I found the PTO shaft in there. Um, so that was an interesting one, and uh, it did a shear bolt in on the feeder wagon PTO as well. So I've had to change that, it's all sorted now anyways. Um, but yeah, a bit, bit of a different one, but we can use that PTO shaft again now on the Maxim. Uh, if all goes well, just unscrew that there. Nope, still a bit tight. Nearly there now. That's off now. Oh, a bit of dust in there. Clean that out. So that's that off. I just hope this bolt hasn't rusted to the uh, mirror arm itself, which it might have actually. Oh no, it's fine. That's a stiff one. There we go. This is the old mirror arm off. We'll keep these as spares, obviously. Don't want to just throw them away. So now I might put these mirrors on the wrong way, but if I remember, if I th should be this one. Should be this one. No, other one. No, this one, yeah. We'll give that clean off first anyways. Fingers crossed, they should just slot right on. Oh, the heavy mind. Just rest there. Right, yep, perfect. Right, let's get this bolt in before my arm goes dead. There we go, that's on now. Just tighten it up with the Allen key. It's annoying how that doesn't fit right round actually. Well on the bottom one now, so we're all right there. So, oh, just tighten this round until we can uh, see it come through the other side, then we'll put our end bit on, shall we say. So if anyone's wondering, I bought from these from, I think it was MDE AgriPath uh, over in Ireland. I was gonna buy them from AgriLine, but they were a bit cheaper from this spot, so. If anyone's interested, I'll leave a link in the description. They, they uh, seem to specialize in C and H parts. If that helps anyone. See how that looks. Yeah, perfect. Shiniest part of the tractor there'll be now. Oh, right. Then what I'm going to do is, um, I didn't buy a, se a second. Se I bought one CB holder with a wire attached that will plug directly into the CB, but I only bought one. So I'll just take one off the uh, class because I haven't had the CBs on that centre box spreading. So just take one off of there, I reckon. That'll do the trick nicely. Well, that's one on. You can see that one sticks out a lot more than that one, so you'll be able to see further behind the trailer with that one because obviously you've got more more of an angle, if that makes sense. Whereas that one's very limited. That kind of makes sense. Don't know if it does, but um, yeah, that's one on. I think it looks great. Um, get the second one on. Then get these CBs and then see what it's looking like. Uh, should look all right, fingers crossed. So when they're all in the pit, I'll make sure they fold them out like that. Sorry, in like that, not out. Then you can simply just, they're a little bit stiff at the moment, obviously with being new, but you can, can't do this one-handed, just push them back 
into place. Whew, they are stiff. Um, so I'm gonna put the wired CB on this side so it can run direct through the back window, through the back side window, this bit, to the CB. Um, see how that pans out. Fingers crossed. I need to bring this one. Uh, no, I need to bring that one in more. We'll be able to angle them and stuff properly when we actually um, get them on the trailer. There we go. Right. So. That should just be through there for the moment. Got your washers and your nuts. And get it on. Need a proper spanner to tighten them on fully. Um, but just put them on loosely for now until I've got the uh, fitting right. That's the Allen key again. Right. Up there, we'll have this bit facing, this point facing outwards. Yeah, oh, this isn't gonna work. Get that. And... Just gotta try and balance it on for the moment. And reach back over and get what I need. on there now. Slot that through and hope that it balances itself when I quickly reach over and get... Okay, yeah, it's balanced. So this bit goes on the bottom. This goes right up to the metal of it. So that order there. So I'll get... Oh, this is fiddly. I remember when I was fitting them on the class. Absolute pain. The only difference is I did that when the CB was actually on the uh, fitment, so it was a right pain to fit on, I must say. I'll tell you what, that mirrors are clean. They won't be that clean for very long. Right, so that's that on. Just loosely screw that on for now. Stay, yeah. Get these, so it goes washer, weird thing, and then nut like that. So, in the last few weeks while I've been gone, I need to tighten that on, I've had a bit of a career change plan. So, I'll talk you through that. I've decided that I'm going to try and get into an ag college um, rather than go to sixth form and head that way into contracting, I'm hoping, um, rather than cattle farming. Uh, when I'm older, so we'll see how that works out. Right, we'll put a CB on. I do apologize about the wind. I really do. Tell you what, we might want to move it across actually a little bit because that doesn't look straight from down there. Might be all right, we'll see what happens. Right, right on, so then the plug on the end of this just plugs directly into the back of the CB. Um, which is not usable at the moment because the electrics are still broken. See, there you go, that looks quite well. So we'll get the other one on. Well, actually, I ah, will get the other one on. And then, uh, well, I'll go and run and get a spanner first, actually. I'll tell you what, I'll feed this through. Get that Allen key out and put that back while we're going down there. Also, I've just opened the first cut clamp. Just seen that before. That was must have been open today because it wasn't opened yesterday when I was feeding up. So it looks quite well actually, um, from what I've seen. Anyhow, still got about one and a half bays. You can just see the second cut's about there. I've got oh no, yeah, about there. One and a half bays left of second cut silage still. So that'll need used up at some point. I doubt he'll sell it, to be honest. There's not really any point, I don't think. So I'll just use that up. Now this, oh, I might have to take the CB off to do this. Actually, hold on. Just, uh, it's too much of an angle, really. CB off. Plugs directly into there. And screws on. So that, Aerial's going to be the one that's feeding the CB. Just make sure that's nicely plugged in. 
This is going to be feeding the CB. That one there is just going to be a dummy aerial, if that makes sense. Just for the decoration. I didn't really want to just put one on because that would look a bit stupid. But yeah, this isn't working at the moment because I think I said when I was muck spreading, um, it was on the feeder wagon, someone's pulled the three point off, which is, I think it's fused all of that out. Um, maybe even worse, I'm not sure, but they're going to have a look at it when it goes in for this grill anyway. So we'll see what they say. And these, there we go, and uh, get these put in the workshop. Here's dry cows, um, they've been fed before, as you can see. These will be about, the ones in here maybe be about a uh, month or two off of calving. When they get to about three weeks off of calving and they start bagging up, they get put in the pre calves over there, and then they get fed. Same feed as this, but there's few more minerals and stuff in um, and then they get put in the carving pens obviously the uh, pre-carving pen is on straw and uh, the carving pens are on straw as well whereas these are on sawdust have a look what this first cut uh, silage is looking like full pit very 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 full pit I think it's about 350 acres overall I don't know if I said when we were um, carting and things Oh, I need to take that CB off the class as well. But that's it, you can see it's looking quite well on colour and stuff. Can't see any mould. There'll be a little bit in the edges, obviously, but uh, that's what you come to expect. There's not actually that much, to be fair. Um, but yeah, it looks really well. Nice colour, quite well rolled. You can see it's all compacted very nicely. <coughs> Here we are. See, there's loads of stuff in here. It's not the tidiest at the moment. But uh, yeah, there's absolutely tons. I'll uh, give you a walk through in a second. I'll just find somewhere to put these mirrors. Um, put them on this shelf here. Just out of the way. Hopefully that fits on. Yeah, there we go. See, there's an old mirror off the class or something there. Old lights off the Manitou. There's absolutely loads in here. Old mirror off the Manitou as well. Obviously the old one, not the new one. Yeah, Hi uh, hydraulic pipes, hydraulic rams, PDO shafts, screws, shear, uh, bolts, everything in here really. Very interesting. All right, don't forget to turn the light off. There we go. Probably make a video on that one day, proper walk through there. That's just a quick, non-stop tour. Anyways, we'll get these Allen keys back and uh, get a screw. I've got a screwdriver, a spanner. Uh, probably should have measured which size I wanted first, but oh well. Uh, I have them. Just put these on here. Now, what do you reckon? What do you reckon? Um, oh, I'll just get an adjustable. Then, uh, then we don't need to keep coming back and forth. tell you who I'm really enjoying watching at the moment is uh, Farmer Phil. What a great guy, what a great guy. Um, obviously, with his contracting and stuff, that's what I want to go into. As I said before, it's interesting to watch what he gets up to and things like that. Um, yeah, really enjoyed watching him. In fact, I probably uh, stayed up a little bit too late last night watching one of his videos. So, oopsie daisy. Um, we'll get this. CB holder, not the actual antenna of the class, and um, transfer it over to the Maxim. It's windy here again, hell. And um, get it on, get the second CB on, tighten it up with this. Now that's the job done, really. I've just got one more hub to paint. Um, the front right hub, I've just got that to paint. That'll need undercoat first. Sand it down, undercoat, paint. Then that's all I'm done. I just need to do the inside, like I said before but they won't get done until after silage and it's back with this new grill and all of that because I'm not simply going to have the time. Um, new delivery of feed there, I'm not sure what that is. It might be soya holes. Uh, soya, something like that. Um, so, yeah, it's there. Perfect, a few uh, pigeons in here, mind. Knocking on the roof. 
Um, so here's the claws. You can see there's still a fair bit of our second cut left. Not too much, but a uh, decent amount. So probably get that used. That's probably why he's uh, left that first cut pit a while. I think he's left it about four weeks now. Obviously it needs to ferment and stuff, but I think it was about 18 days last year. Before I open it, yeah, you can see my uh, tubing pipes that I put in. And he's tightened a little bit. Um, that's not a good adjustable seized up. Let's hope there's something in this toolbox. Uh, I think they're all really too big. Mm, 17, 16. Yeah, they're all too big. You can see all the old shear bolts in there. Yeah. Um, we'll have to have a wonder and get another one, I think. Shame that, it's a good adjustable, that's funny. It's got another one somewhere, but it's been misplaced, I think. So, that's missing at the moment. Be on one of the tractors somewhere, but um, we'll have to try and find that because this one is not, not usable. I'm gonna have to try and guess what size it is now. So if I, if that's too big, just slightly, I'll be able to gauge what size spanner I need. I'm guessing maybe a, I think last time I used an 11. I think that was a while ago since I put them CBs on mine. Uh, I think it was an 11. I've taken a 9, an 11 and a 12. There's no 10s. So I'm just hoping that it wasn't a size 10 that I needed. Taking these three sizes just so I don't have to keep coming back and forth. I could just take the tractor around to be honest. It'd be just as easy. Um, see what happens, see what these say. Not looking too bad this should be all right anyways we'll see we'll see right let's try this again don't know why that always comes up purple when i'm filming with this camera right let's see what this is saying so this is the what size is this this is the 12 too big this is the 11 too big, the, my, the nine might just do it. So it says, too small. Oh, what a faff. Wonder if any of these will do it. Right, this is the 12. Let's see what that's saying. Yeah, too big. 11. Can't line it up. Ooh, the nine might just about fit. I will just take it round, they're not fitting, but I think, I feel like there's an adjustable in the Manitou that we use to tighten the cow lifter, so. Try and get that, I reckon. If I just pull this wire slack, so it's not hanging out the tractor do as good I'll get some cable ties or something to tie up to the roof but for now that should do just put the spanners in there for now I'll tell you what there might be a spanner in here somewhere um, no it doesn't look like it right well we'll just take it round and uh, see what happens wait for the lights to go off that CB might get absolutely covered in smoke. I'm hoping not. As I always say, the linkage drops on this tractor, so just lift that up every time. Start it, there's the new radio. That's working really well, actually. If I do say so. I need to re-angle that mirror. I'll tell you what, we'll angle it now when we've got a chance. Door, it's going to be funny. How's that? Perfect, might need re-angled. Like, but as I say, when we get the trailer on, we'll have a look. Oh, I'll tell you what it is, actually. Right. Let's go. Slightly, but 
when we get the bolts tightened up, it's fine. Just gotta watch because these stick out a bit more than the other ones did, as I said before. So, do not catch them. I'll tell you what, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Hope the CV's going. Going, going. Nearly gone. But it's in need of a tight. Right, is it in this man too, or is it in the old one? Uh, not in there. Unless it's in that cubby there. Nope, not in this one. Must be in this one round here. There's the pre calves I was on about, so they're on straw, they get bedded every day. Um, they get a few more minerals in the feed. Like I said before, is it this one? If it's not in here, I think it'll be in the medicine room. Uh, it's not that, I can tell you that much. No, it doesn't look to be in here, to be honest. No, it'd be in the medicine room. Bingo, got it, yes. Go and get this other one off the class. Well pleased with that. Glad I found that. I can now put that back where it belongs. Don't know who's had that like, eh? but it's found anyways. Don't need to worry about that. Could do the little clean, I'd say. Don't know how old it is, but it uh, definitely needs a clean. Here's the tire pit. I thought I'd show you this. I tidied this up yesterday. Uh, pushed all of them up. There were a few on the edge, so I just push them up. Make the farm look a bit more presentable. Uh, it's a very tidy farm, this, to be fair. Uh, my uncle does a very good job of keeping it clean, looking after it. So, yeah, props to him. Oh, it's quite warm. It's been a very rainy day today. Um, then about maybe two o'clock, it got out sunny. It's been sunny ever since. So, yeah, it was pouring down last night, though. Absolutely pouring it down. I haven't seen such heavy rain in ages. Oh, and also, well, I remember, if we are mowing next weekend, uh, I'm going to ask him if I can have a cheeky little go on the mower just to get a little bit of experience that way. Um, never actually done mowing before, but we'll see if we can give it a go and see what it's like with the new class mowers, which did a very good job, job of mowing last time. Right, let's tighten that. It's not loosening it, oops. Going the wrong way. Too tight. There we go. I think that's tightening it. There we go, that should just screw off now. Excellent. Perfect timing, milk tank is here as well. Just up there, there he is. Come here, get the milk. I've got the old CB off. Oh, can't reach it anyways. It's got the, um, let me get it. It's got the bottom of the old CB on anyway, so I need to take that off. I'll give it all a wash. Get the, get it on. I know it's not as new and shiny as the other one, but if I wanted to buy another one, I'd be paying another 15 quid when I could just use this one, so. I'm gonna need some hot water for this. Hell, that's not coming off. Get some hot water. Well, there it is. New CBs on and new mirrors on, they look great. Well impressed. Well, well impressed with them. So I think I'll uh, end today's video here. So thank you all for tuning in. Uh, I'm not sure what day this will be up. I'm thinking Tuesday, but I'll have to get it edited tonight. Today's Monday. Uh, if not, then Thursday. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. It's much appreciated. Leave a comment down below and I'll uh, see you all next time.